A new study has revealed global water scarcity is a far bigger problem than we ever thought, affecting 4 billion people, that's two-thirds of the world's population, and, quote, will be one of the most difficult and important challenges of the century. While it's worrying statistics, we already knew that global water scarcity was a problem. Now we have this new study, it's been published in Science Advances, and whereby initially we thought between 1.7 and 3.1 billion people were affected, we're now talking about 4 billion people. Uh, They're talking by as early as 2040. The Middle East, India, China, some parts of Europe will be heavily affected. NASA has chimed in. NASA did two previous uh, studies and talked about the water table, the the general level of water, uh, above groundwater level, dropping overall. Here's a quote from NASA's Jet jet Propulsion Laboratory scientist, senior water scientist, Jay Famiglietti. He said, the water table is dropping all over the world. There's not an infinite supply of water. We need to get our heads together on how we manage groundwater because we're running out of it. I mean, we know climate change is a problem. We know there's been a severe drought right here in California. But to hear the likes of NASA coming out and saying these comments, and now to hear that this new study, which is looking at a month-by-month basis rather than previously we monitored things on a year-by-year basis, showing far greater severity of results, 4 billion people, two-thirds of the world's population, it's highly worrying. Yeah, and it's also consistent with the other reports that we've had out about the aquifers, which are the subterranean water tables, the, the, the reserves, the water reserves that take thousands of years to accumulate. Those have obviously been drained as well as we know, and we've been well documented on this show, particularly here in California. They've been plundered in terms of irrigation used for crops, and those are never going to be replaced. They will never be replenished. So the fact that there's now these subterranean aquifers and these top-lying water tables, 21 out of 37 of the world's largest aquifers are being drained and at a level at which they're being drained faster than they're being replenished because, as I said, it takes thousands of years to replenish them. So this, is, this finding is consistent with that, but it, <laughs> it's, it's, it becomes even more troubling. The World Economic Forum has listed a global water crisis as the largest global risk in terms of the potential impact it might have. And obviously demand, companies utilizing water, cities demanding water is one of the biggest problems and one of the areas that really needs to be addressed. Um, They're talking about rivers that are nearly depleted. The Colorado River has been named. And while of those 4 billion people, around half of them are in India and China, America is still listed with Texas. Uh, Colorado, for example, being listed as states that are susceptible, and also uh, Mexico as well, Pakistan, Nigeria, lots of countries being named, even Spain is Europe, uh, as being highly vulnerable. Here's a quote from the study, the, the new study that was in Science Advances, just released over the weekend. It said, businesses, depending on water in their operations or supply chain, also face increasing risks of water shortages. Other effects, including biodiversity losses, low flows hampering navigation, land subsidence and salinization of soils and groundwater resources. So what they're saying is that the direct victims of the overuse of water resources are usually uh, the users of water themselves. So people like you and me and obviously companies that use a lot of water. So we know the water table is now dropping to dangerous levels. The question is, what can we do about it? Obviously, bit by bit on a daily level, we can try to use less. Certainly some of the larger manufacturing companies uh, and producers Farmers as well will will be uh, will be certainly vulnerable and having to make some changes.